Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. This is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations and I hope you are all doing well. So in today's video I'll be making a resin wall art. Uh, I have these uh, crushed mirror pieces that I'll be starting and placing into the positions I have there pre-drawn the places on the uh, canvas so I have kind of thought about the look what I'm going for I am not an expert on these kind of art pieces as this is something new for me so I do things as I think will work for me therefore I can't just do things without planning I have to know exactly what I am going for therefore I can execute the things that I'm doing so yeah basically I'm just placing my mirrors into the places and I noticed my first issue that I couldn't really get them to the end of uh, the canvas uh, like corners so I just put a tape in those places to create a border so they don't fall off and now I am going over with just transparent uh, resin uh, and this will keep these um, pieces into place and once it cure I can start to work on the rest of the canvas and today I'm working on wood canvas that I got off a uh, range here in UK and it is 30 by 40 uh, centimeters and at the end I decided to take pinches of fine glitter and just sprinkle a little bit for that extra extra so guys here is a little break and I am telling you about my giveaway that I am running until 16 of December so here is your chance to participate and win these three lovely prizes to participate it's very easy you must be subscribed to my channel and you need to leave a comment under this video that uh, let me know where you watching from and all the details also is going to be in the description right it is the next day and i decided to go for black white and silver colors here i have premixed my resin and today i'm using the lovely apex resin from just for you online uk and also all my pigments are from this company so this resin is really nice because it's extra thick and it's touch dry into two hours and fully cured in 24 hours so it's really great for artwork where you need to have a thick resin so here I'm mixing my colors and one important thing you should have your place really leveled otherwise the resin will run and I thought that I had my place leveled but at the end you will see that resin moved a bit it's not bad but as I know I know so I'm starting with black color going around the mirrors and uh, as I mentioned before it's still quite new to me to create these kind of pieces of artwork and I'm still working on being confident enough uh, 
I'm starting off by just using two, three colors. So three colors. So here I have black, white and silver. And just to see and kind of develop my style, learn from my mistakes and yeah. I hope you are all doing great and getting ready for Christmas. I can't believe it's nearly that time of the year. Uh, me personally, I think I'm more still in the September, October phrase still. Uh, time goes by so quickly and every day just flies and nothing really gets done and every day I say tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow tomorrow and it comes and it comes and nothing gets done and also I have had a couple rough weeks because of my little boy who is three and a half he was going to nursery and he got some wild virus and had temperature and chesty cause and this time it was the temperature was not going down so for one week he was taking paracetamol and um, cough syrup and nothing was getting better so after a couple travels to doctor's office now he is on antibiotics and the temperature has gone down but still he has cough and slowly he's getting better so basically this virus has gave me so many worries and so many new gray hair but at least now situation is getting better and soon everything gonna go back to normal hopefully so yeah here I am just pouring my resin, putting the colors down where I think they would look good. And after this, I will make a dirty cup and fill in the rest of the space that I have still left. So I'm putting the colors one by one inside the cup. And this will create this lovely effect. So at this point I was panicking because I thought that the resin that I had mixed will be not enough. Uh, so yeah, I just put what I had on and this part, I absolutely love it. It looks like some agate slice part and here is okay as well but this part I absolutely dislike so I left it to cure and this is the next day and I will try 
uh, I will be making some glitter lines so I mixed my resin and here I am adding my extra fine glitter and the secret is to add a lot of glitter so the resin is very thick and not so runny so after this I added a bit more glitter to my resin and I put in a bag can be any bag some people I've seen it you use syringes um, it's great option as well but I always try to use something that I have on hand and today I have this as the bag for sandwiches and stuff and I will leave this mixture for about 20 minutes so it's thicken up and now the time is passed I chop off a little little bit so and now it's the piping part and this is again one more thing that I'm not really sure about and as you see I mentioned before that the resin moved a bit and you can see how it did move to the right side it's not bad but if you know you know so here I'm applying the um, glitter lines and I thought in my head before I started doing this that I will do also black lines and white lines and maybe even some silver pen lines but after finishing this one I decided just to stick with it and don't overdo it as I kind of like it already so here is the finished product I know it's not perfect but I'm still learning and I feel that is getting better for me and I really like it it will be great on my wall in the studio So I hope you found this video useful and entertaining. Please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now I'm saying goodbye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye.